Chris from a company called Show Love. I've been an entrepreneur for a few years now, trying different things, hustling and learning the game. I think what's really cool about this series is that we're following a, a bunch of guys that are doing really great things and being themselves. So we're going to find out about their businesses, how they got into business, what keeps their businesses alive and why they do what they do. Basically it's four pillars to the brand. Clothing, it's the retail stores, which we have two of. And then we have cycling or running, which is what we call like uh, social, social impact. Okay. Then we have the invest side. But everything all links back to the clothing okay. or the, sh the retail space. It's pretty tough to even have any sort of business. Choosing to be in the, in the hood, choosing to be around people that you know and you grew up around. Like, does the hood support you? What are the tough things that you go through as a black business more than anything? I think being in the hood in the beginning was a disadvantage, whereas it turned out to be an advantage in a sense that, I mean, like starting a business, especially a retail store, streetwear brand in the hood, that was like tough in the beginning. Sure. I think, I don't know, but I think with any business in the beginning, you know, it's fun. Yeah. You know, you try to find ways how to market the business. And I think through those things, we've tried and figured it's an ecosystem, like, because yeah. this is ecosystem. I've dabbled in clothing and I've, um, and I do still do events. And I know the craziest thing is the hours. But then you gotta balance your, your personal life, you know, your friends, your family, your your own downtime. Like, how do you guys like maintain, you know, your your personal balance? And we call it the curse of the doers, you know. If you are a doer, it, it sometimes it just becomes a norm, you know, rather than being a hustler, you know. And you just have to put in hours if you love what you do more than anything it's like you don't even care and well it's normal that some of the relationships would suffer but i mean you also start to learn that you need to build a network more right. than friends you know there's that part but there's also the part where the downtime is also the activity you know so you can be here working in the store pitching whatever but then you go running that's when the run crew comes in right. so you're running with your friends which it's two purposes, you know, you keep keeping healthy and at the same time you also uh, mingling with your friends and all, all the cycling is the same thing. And I guess that's actually true lifestyle. Too. Yeah, like, that's, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've had a lot of bad gigs, you know, like and you know when you have a bad gig you like you question yourself, you know? And that really, really tests you like, you know, as a as a businessman and on a human level, you know, like I'm pretty sure you guys have been through similar things in terms of business and the ups and downs, you know, like what what keeps you motivated when, when things aren't going according to plan? It's never quitting. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like like Wandi said, we're still happy if the shop doors are still open. Yeah. I think the biggest motivation also is the fact that now you've got people that you actually have to pay salaries to. Yeah. That makes it, doesn't make it hard. Just, it's just the motivation to make sure that, you know, there's people that you need to take care of. Guys, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Sure. Keep building, keep doing great things.